Hey, what's going on there, folks? Good evening. It is the Earthmaster back here on this uh, Tuesday night, July 11th, 2023, about 9.47 p.m. here in the California time zone. 2.0, the latest quake here on the big island of Hawaii. Starting off here with the space weather activity first because we are ramping up significantly with some uh, Earth, well, getting ready to be Earth side, uh, Earth facing sunspots that is um, from a couple different regions we're currently flaring uh, from this far side sunspot here notice the brightness features popping up also another couple regions over here showing some flaring as well so things are very active the SFI is growing that's the solar flux index up to about 214 a little bit higher than what we've seen here in the past that's the energy uh, being produced out there from the uh, solar flare activity uh, looks like we are currently flaring right now. The global D-layer map shows uh, some radio blackout activity happening across the uh, Asia area. Now, this trend here, notice the stair-stepping. Um, we're almost at a baseline here of about consistent M-flare activity. Uh, and that's a potential sign that we could be seeing an X-flare pop off here soon. Uh, from one of these sunspots. Right now there is a 20% chance for X-flare probabilities. Um, M-flare at 50, C-flare around 99% chance. And as you can see here, we've had a couple uh, M-flares and it looks like we may be having a, another one, as I mentioned here, uh, coming in. So that's, uh, well, look at all, there's been a couple other M-flares as well, some smaller ones. So things are really ramping up here on the sun. Uh, we'll definitely continue to watch that and uh, the majority of this high energy activity is coming off of this regional sunspot here that's kind of give us a, a little glimpse of what it looks like there on the magnetic structure of those fields although not uh, completely visible yet i think here uh, tomorrow we should get a better glimpse of that as that uh, uh, positions a little bit further on the earth facing side of the sun massive sunspot here centered uh, facing us but it looks fairly stable it's massive but it's stable uh, and then a couple of these other sunspots here uh, it's fairly dynamic that do harbor some potential for some further flaring we'll definitely keep an eye on this activity uh, not looking at any major uh, solar weather events and even for um, Thursday right which is going to be the 13th there's um, not anything major expected here. So, you know, kind of like I mentioned here a couple nights ago, how um, a couple news agencies mentioned that there'd be a, a pretty significant solar storm. But uh, I kind of, I think I kind of called that, mentioning that, uh, they, that that was kind of a, an overblown story, I think, uh, in terms with the news agencies. Not really seeing anything popping up here, but as always, we'll continue to watch that for any changes. Quite a few sunspots on the visible disk with, uh, of course, 3361 and 3367 being the uh, um, some of the more complex ones. 3361, 3367, and of course, this one over here is fairly complex as well, but we just don't have a complete visual of it. Uh, looks like 3372 shows that it's a beta. Um, but I think it's a little bit more complex than that. We'll get a better view come tomorrow. All right, uh, let's see what we got here for earthquake activity kicking up. Um, there's the movement there on the Big Island. Not seeing any major changes going on. This is just uh, activity across the Pahala region, southeastern edge there of the Big Island. California lighting up slightly here around Lake Almanor. This has been uh, kind of a consistent thing here couple earthquakes every day or so mostly in the two range um, the bay area fairly quiet except for the creeping segment here of the san andreas fault where we're seeing a 2.1 uh, near the pinnacles coming in within the last hour slight earthquake activity around the long valley super volcano just outside the caldera range uh, but very small microquake activity uh, southern california not seeing any major swarms not seeing any unusual activity uh, just some microquakes, and that's very common across that area. 
Uh, up here in Idaho, seeing a little bit of activity, seeing a 3.3 coming in. Just off of this fault system here, um, looks like the Red Rock Fault, Sheep Creeks section. Uh, seeing a 3.3 and uh, a couple other smaller quakes in there. Yellowstone National Park uh, looks fairly quiet. We'll double check this here real quick and uh, just to make sure. Uh, well, let's let them pop up. Here we go. Some of the activity that is stirring up over there in uh, Idaho will show up on these stations that are closer to Idaho uh, compared to these distant stations. And far as earthquake activity goes, uh, there's not a whole lot locally there at the Yellowstone National Park. Uh, Texas and Oklahoma still seeing some movement out there. Uh, let's see what else we got here across the Puerto Rico area. We did see one further aftershock here. Uh, earlier this evening, a 5.0. Of course, they had that 6.6. And uh, a couple other smaller quakes here yesterday. Looks like things are still uh, active somewhat around that region. Just off the Puerto Rico Trench. Still seeing some activity over here. Around the Monacy Mount and areas around Puerto Rico. We'll continue to watch that for uh, possible further movement. Into the um, Chile area. Well, this is... Um, Argentina area, but uh, into the Peru Chile Trench, it looks like uh, a couple hundred kilometers deep into it. Latest shows a 4.3, and largest a 4.5. Of course, all that activity been increasing following the movement out here in the southeast Pacific rise. The general plate movement out here does pinpoint uh, well, when we see earthquake activity out here on the southern edge here of the Nazca plate, that does apply stress up against the Peru Chile Trench. And um, that's kind of what we are um, observing today. That was a little weird. I had my, uh, my mouse freeze up. Very strange. <laughs> All right. Uh, South Sandwich Islands here. 5.1 and a 5.2 throughout the last 24 hours. Down here across the Tonga Trench. Well, this is roughly in between the Tonga and the uh, Kermadec Trench here. 4.7 earlier this afternoon. Looks like a pretty deep earthquake. Below 500 kilometers. The GeoNet server is out here. See if we've got anything major going on here across New Zealand. Doesn't look like it. Um, looks like maybe a 3.2 coming in to the South Island area. Uh, let's go ahead and check just real quick and see what we have for the... Um, GeoNet folks here. A 3.2 should show up across the uh, southern areas uh, of the seismograph stations here. Didn't even look like it's shown up all that much. Maybe potentially it's going to be this earthquake. Either way, nothing big going on there across New Zealand currently. Over here further to the west across the uh, Banda Sea area, we did see a 4.4. Uh, and some other smaller quakes across the region. I'm going to fix the size of this activity. I don't know. There's just a lot of twos out here. I don't like it cluttered. But uh, it does show some activity across the Java Trench. A little bit of movement there across Australia as well. Uh, looks like some upper twos occurring. Uh, not a whole lot going on though through the... Uh, Java Trench, aside from some smaller microquake activity. A little seismic gap for the most part. Uh, also up here around the Myanmar area on the plate boundary, did see a 4.3 earlier this morning. Mediterranean regions, 4.5 earlier this morning, and also 3.4 there in Greece. Uh, let's take a look at the EMSC model here. Nothing big going on, mostly smaller microquakes. Iceland still... Seen some earthquake activity with that volcanic activity going on up there across that uh, active volcano. The rest of the Atlantic Ocean, aside from the South Sandwich Trench, it looks pretty quiet. Um, areas of Alaska, fairly quiet as well. Just a couple, handful of smaller earthquakes up there. A little bit more quieter today, I would say, uh, in terms of earthquake movement compared to the past couple days. All right, uh, let's see what else we got here. I think the big picture is going to be the um, 
space weather activity stirring up. We'll definitely keep an eye on that. Been having a headache all day for some reason. Uh, noisy night out there around portions of Nebraska. And uh, as you can see here in the red, looks like a little bit of thunderstorm activity throughout the evening there. Next couple days, not a whole lot of severe weather coming up. It's going to start cooking out here in California, though. Definitely uh, not looking forward to the heat spell coming up. Either way, I um, hope everyone has a good night. There's that flare that's currently popping. It's just goodness. It's We got one over here on the northeastern limb, and we got this one active as well. Adding to the energy uh, on the earth side of the uh, sun, earth facing side of the sun. See if that has peaked out yet. It looks like it's just peaked out here around the M category, uh, lower M. Either way, uh, we'll definitely keep an eye on these sunspots. They are very active and uh, no doubt could produce an X flare at any moment. We'll catch you guys back here tomorrow sometime. Wednesday. Wednesday's coming up tomorrow, so have a good night, everyone. Catch you guys later.